Welcome back to Garden Talk, brought to you by the Penn State Erie County Extension Master Gardeners. I'm your co-host for today, Mike Bailey, along with Ellen DePlacido. Ellen, are you there? I am. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm reading. I'm you're, reading. You're reading. You're reading. I think I woke her up almost. Okay. You know, I think I've said that intro how many different times. I, I got to figure. I got to figure out a different way of different doing way it. So to... I'm, I think I'm putting you to sleep with it. Okay. So maybe everybody else too. Hey, last time we talked about some of the early season pests, mm -hmm. and we touched on the the cutworm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and how that devastates your garden in, in a little bit of a, a nicer way that paper collar to kind of put around your plants to come to keep that little critter from cutting things off the, at the ground mm -hmm. surface. But there's another insect that we worry about or are concerned about early in the season. Which one's that? That's the flea beetle. Okay. A flea beetle. Beetle. Okay. And you can imagine they're very small. Okay. But one thing I want to say, Mike, because you always tease me about this. Oh, do I? Those adult flea beetles overwinter in plant material and debris that maybe you left in your garden okay. from the year before. Okay. If you're regular listeners, you know where she's going. <laughs> Why didn't you clean up your garden, right? I mean, Why? it might help eliminate yeah. or decrease the number of, yes. of flea beetle problems you right. might have. And why didn't you cut the, the weeds and the things mm -hmm. the, down around the outside of yeah. your garden yeah. to a certain extent? Right. Okay, because you're right. I mean, yes. they are an early season problem because they like those smaller plants. So Yes, you're right. Good. And they and the, the adult does over, winter. over, over winters in that debris. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. whether it be the, the dead debris or the green debris, okay, mm -hmm. anything that's around or in your garden. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, Take Ellen's advice, okay, <laughs> and clean you. up and clean up your garden. <laughs> uh, did I redeem myself a yes, little bit? Yes, you did. Okay, okay, fine. And you're right. You said they're small. They're only mm -hmm. about a sixteenth of an inch, you know, in diameter, or a little mm -hmm. bit bigger. And they're they're dark colored, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do they do? They they, they hop, hop around and they in, eat and small. they eat small holes in right. the leaves. Right. And they really like the leaves of young plants. Right. They they don't go for the bigger, more mature yeah. plants. You know. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's why you see most of their damage early in the year because they like those those small tender plants that mm -hmm. they're going to see in the spring mm -hmm. you know and i always see some in my garden okay and i don't get too upset about it unless the damage starts to get excessive okay, okay? and you have to kind of judge that on your own as to how bad you want this to get um because again they as the leaves, as the temperature starts to warm up and you get a little bit of growth on the plant, okay, okay they won't bother that new growth. Okay. Okay, because they kind of wane a little bit after, you know, as you get into the middle of June. Mm -hmm. So if you can, you know, get past that early season phase, you should be fine. But mm -hmm. you, what, what can you do, okay, you know, as far as, as treating those plants? Well, um, if it gets bad, crop rotation and weed control help. Okay, yes. Okay, okay fine. Yes, that kind absolutely. Of helps curb it. But yes. if you start getting problems with it, that's kind of beyond what you can tolerate. You can use um, some spinosad or carbaryl pre pre pyrethrum. Pyrethrum. Okay. Now, that's spinosad. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a nice product, and it's mm -hmm. biological. Right, it's not. And, mm -hmm. and it's available locally in the stores, mm -hmm. you know, and is, it is very easy to use, and mm -hmm. it doesn't have a lot of residual. And like I said, it is it is biological, right. so you don't need to be it too won't. worried, mm -hmm. okay, about mm -hmm. any kind of uh, a problem. Mm -hmm. The the carbaryl, which is really seven, yes. I, you know, uh, Ellen and I have kind of done a lot of research on a lot of different products that you might put on, you know, plants in the vegetable garden. And believe it or not, this seven, if used properly. Follow directions. If used <laughs> properly, follow the directions. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you use it judiciously. Okay. That's pretty benign, you know, when it comes to your vegetable crops. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially if it's early on in the season, before they get to the fruiting phase. Right. Okay. Because that'll, mm -hmm. whatever residual that it gets into the soil will break down quite easily. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one of our go-to products if we have a severe infestation mm -hmm. of probably a lot of different kinds of pests mm -hmm. so that we go to that. But we kind of like to lean towards the biologicals right. in the, the BT and the spinosad, okay, work really right. well. But BT will not work on the flea beetles, okay? That works primarily on, you know, grubs and worms and things mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. 
uh, you know, so it's a it's an interesting little little critter. But when you walk down in the garden, you got to be careful. You got to look for it, don't you? You do, right? <laughs> because you know, did I really see that? Yeah, <laughs> it's gone. They're quick and yeah. they're small. <laughs> yeah, they're quick and they're small. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're only about the size of a period at the end of a sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And if you look or if you bump the plant, you know, they'll jump. Right. Uh, and if they jump on you, they're not going to. Not going to cause a problem. It's not like a it's not like a tick or anything right, like that. Right. But uh, they're you don't think you're going to be able to go out be able to go out there and <laughs> capture them. Right, okay? pick them off. No, they're, they're maybe younger kids <laughs> yeah. can do that, but I can't yeah. do it anymore. Okay? But uh, <laughs> you know, then what they'll leave is you can see small holes, holes. with a brown mm -hmm. edge. Okay, in in your plants, mm -hmm. it might not even be a hole. It might just be a brown spot, mm -hmm. uh, which eventually dries through and, and and becomes a little bit of a hole. So keep that in mind also. So. The cutworms and the, and the flea beetles are two early season pests that you need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Ellen, we've used our time again, so okay. how about we sign off? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.